Hello, my friends. Is Syria really safe enough for refugees to return? Recently, we have witnessed an increasing remission by some countries, individuals, and organizations that Syria has finally become safe and it's time for refugees to return back. Well, they kind of promote rosy images of Syria as a country teeming with safety and opportunities. Indeed, some countries have begun trying to approach the Syrian regime and the head of the regime, Bashar al-Assad, to restore the diplomatic and political relations and re enable Bashar al-Assad. Thereby increasing pressure on refugees to force them to return to Syria. This promotion of such ideas ignores the harsh reality that Syria still lives under Assad's regime. And the Assad regime is known for its severe human rights violations and has not changed. Arbitrary uh, arrests, uh, torture, um, and forced disappearances are still ongoing. Many international organizations warn that conditions in Syria is not yet safe for the return of refugees. And there are even reports, videos of people who returned back to Syria were arrested, tortured, extorted, and robbed as soon as they returned. Anyone promoting for the idea that Syria has become safe and refugees must return back, directly or indirectly, contributes to these crimes. He is a part of the crime. It's an invitation for refugees to return to face death and arrest. Think about it. You are asking refugees to return back to face death, to face arrest in the presence of Assad regime. We should not be surprised if we discover that some promoters of those ideas are regime affiliates. Anyone believes that Syria has become safe is either ignorant, deceived or foolish, and I'm sure foolish. Well, they should look at reality again before promoting such ideas. International pressure to restore the relations with the Syrian regime represents a betrayal for the hopes and aspirations of the Syrian people who have struggled for years for freedom and dignity. Those attempts strengthen the regime's power and allow it to continue its abrasive practices without accountability. It's essential for refugees and the international community to be cautious and not be swayed by those propaganda campaigns that aim to distort the truth and achieve political goals at the expense of people's life. Efforts must continue to uncover the truth and ensure the necessary protection for the refugees and that they can return safely and with dignity to their homeland. And now, in your opinion, how can we confirm the propaganda campaigns that promote the idea that Syria has become safe? Mohammed Najim.